climate change or something else? That's the ecological mystery shaping up in Bolivia. The country's second largest lake has virtually vanished. It's all dried up. So what happened? CCTV's Dan Collins has insight from Bolivia. There never used to be so many flamingos in the Uruuru Lake, just south of the Bolivian city of Oruro. Now these majestic pink birds sift through shallow, rubbish-strewn waters. They had no choice to migrate here after Lake Pupo, Bolivia's second largest body of water after Lake Titicaca, dried up. The lakeside fishing village of Untavi is virtually deserted. I think that we who live here have to ask Mother Earth for rain and pray to God. This is punishment from God, because the people are not taking time to acknowledge him. Fisherman Valerio Rojas tells CCTV he's been left without a livelihood. His wife, Cristina Mamani, says all the young people have left. Before, this place was full of people. We all worked in fishing. We women would clean and fix the nets, cook the meals. The men would work on the lake. We'd sell the fish in town. Now there's just a few of us. More than 100 families have sold their flocks of alpacas or llamas and moved to the nearest town, Oruro, or gone further afield. When you see the lake, it's not hard to see why. It started to dry up in late 2014. By December last year, it had evaporated. For the local fishermen, their income has literally dried up. Everything here has been abandoned and is falling apart. Before long, our tools and our nets scattered around here will be useless. We have not given up hope that the lake will return. We live and work here. This is our home. Only God knows if it will come back and if we'll get the help we need from the authorities. Scientists say a drought linked to El Nino and the diversion of rivers for mining and farming have all played a part in Lake Pupo's latest disappearance. It's not the first time this lake has dried up. Local people can point to several occasions in living memory. But if the scientific predictions are to be believed, this time could be the last time. The local governor, Victor Hugo Vasquez, believes the waters will return. I am absolutely certain the lake will fill up again in due course and become a source of abundance for the local people once again. I don't know how long it will take. He dismissed allegations that poor water management was to blame. The principal cause is climate change. Industrialized countries pollute 365 days a year and the poor pay for that. As a result of global warming, the droughts are much longer and the rains don't come when they normally should. Scientists say a perfect storm of environmental factors made the lake disappear. The Bolivian government has asked the EU for $140 million to dredge the Desaguadero River, which provided more than 90% of the lake's water. The last time Lake Pupo turned into a salt flat was 1994. It took years, but the lake recovered. This time, climate change may make its disappearance irreversible. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lake Pupo, Bolivia.